Hi, this is uh, Vinod. Today I will demonstrate uh, features of Visitor Inout and open source software for visitor management. Currently it is uh, integrated with OHA library management software and uh, the purpose of developing this software is to track the records of visitor who is uh, visiting the library. So like uh, statistics we can generate through this software per day how many are visiting per month how many are visiting per year how many are visiting what are the rush periods when users are visiting more like male female also and uh, as well as it will also help in uh, elimination of the checkout sleep generation by the library as we know that um, some of the libraries most of the libraries generate checkout slips so when a user uh, issued a book some checkout list is generated and um, before leaving the library security personnel at the existed or any library staff verified those uh, checkout slip that the book is properly issued by the library and user is going along with that particular book so this software will also help in elimination of that checkout slips so today i will demonstrate it, the features how we can able, able this kind of benefit from uh, this software although it is integrated with the koha software presently it is, can be used with the library but with little customizations and modifications in the code this can be used also in a campus like uh, campuses and hostels also i like a gate register sometime in a hostels we used to track the record when the students are going out of the hostel when they are coming back when they are coming uh, inside the campus or going outside the campus so this kind of uh, things also we can manage with uh, this software rather uh, we can also monitor those uh, members uh, within the from this uh, library management software itself we need not to prepare separate database for uh, in and out management of from of the from the hostels as well as campus particularly with reference to the students so uh, this is interface for staff or security personnel or the staff who are sitting ex at the exit gate of the library and they need one uh, id and password to enter this module so they can uh, actually perform the task of check in and check out so basically how staff will get this credentials so it's a very easy like uh, since it is integrated with the koha we know we are creating a pattern like uh, suppose my pattern id is 2131074 and uh, we are giving the staff privilege so in the similar manner we can create one uh, staff who will perform that uh, task of check in and check out at the gate with the help of this software and after creation of that staff we can set the permissions as usual we are doing with the koha to perform the task per task. so this uh, software i have developed in that way that if any one of this staff permission you will give that definitely that particular uh, staff will be entitled to log in through this mode also so suppose if i will give even super library and check out and check in item any any single if i will give permit then he or she will be able to log in to this software also so for this uh, actually if we wanted to particularly give rights to only enter this one then actually what we can do we can simply give them in a staff access allowing viewing of catalog in staff interface only this permission we can give and then save it so by doing so what it will have that the person to whom we have given the authority to check logging to this system actually they cannot perform any task from this koha system so this is a kind of uh, security and even uh, in the software is made in that way that uh, if you, you, even if you have given permission to someone else this one also this one also and by chance that person also logged into this system then there is a feature in the software to report you can see that who is the person responsible for actually performing performing this check in and check out task so that is not an issue 
तो स्टाफ क्रेडेंशियल टू एक्सेस दिस सॉफ्टवेयर यू कैन क्रिएट फ्रॉम कोहा इट सेल्फ एज इट इज इंटीग्रेटेड इन सर ऑन द कोहा सो आई हैव वन माय ओन आईडी एंड पासवर्ड नाउ आई हैव एंटर एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट एक्चुअली इंटरफेस वेयर वी कैन परफॉर्म आवर टैक्स दैट लेफ्ट हैंड side top corner you can see that it is current date and time and right hand side you can see that who who, who is logged in that's so librarian is logged in and he can uh, actually check checked out from this option after uh, closing all this software so this is actually three uh, tables you can see three columns are there so pattern check down today it will show you the total list of patterns who checked down checked in today then uh, checked out out of this checked in how many che already checked out and how many are inside the library that means library persons entered inside the library but is still available inside the library not checked out so it's a very simple that what we have to do is scan that uh, barcode of the member suppose 105 if you have a scanner you can scan otherwise with uh, manual typing you can do that task also now you see thank you for coming in uh, if and uh, if you need any help just ask so one this welcome message is also generated here which is uh, bouncing and uh, suppose another member i am scanning and next member this is myself thank you for coming in if you need any help just ask so this uh, at the time of check in this message will be populated thank you for coming in if you need any help just ask so these messages also you can customize with the software backend and available inside that uh, codes you can just uh, edit that codings as per your wish so these are the check ins you can do here it's a very simple and here you can see the list patterns checked in today so three checked in patterns available team because out of these three nobody has left the library no checked out so now suppose out of this i i will one another person came out of the library just simply we have to scan the card 105 now you can see that the message is populated thank you for visiting we hope to see you again soon this is the message and you see that out of these three one patron left and then two is available inside the library so that is the one thing now i'm going to discuss about the one of the most important feature that is enable issued book data so now what this feature is if we will check in this one activate this one what will happen if a member goes inside the library and suppose he issued some book then definitely we know as a general practice if we issued the book most of the library is still today generates a checkout slip and before leaving the library member has to submit that uh, list along with the book to the security person or library person he see the list and then verify the books and then he leave leave the uh, particular uh, pattern from the library so that is a kind of security thing but here uh, that uh, list library has to generate for the verification purpose so the security person at least can see the user is going along with the right book which is actually issued to him or her so now earlier it was unchecked so even suppose this is even checked i have checked and member came out of the library it indicates that no book is issued to him or her so thank you for visiting we hope to see you again but now see suppose one member is still inside uh, probably 103 is inside the library so now what 103 took some book from the library 103 and barcode number suppose one issue to him So he has taken this particular book, one book, and now he is about to leave the library. Here, what I wanted to see, 
library usually generate one checkout slip and give it to the member but by implementing this software we need not to generate that checkout slip so member will simply leave the library but before that security person will check so once he will come to the security check along with the book security will simply scan 103 and now you see at right hand side a message a table is populated saying that this person has this member is has taken this particular book basics of library automation and data migration and its barcode number is one so now security event he has no any slip generated from the library security can uh, now verify it and then member can leave so here now it's a totally paperless uh, checkout um, facilities provided by this software and now here is status you can see that three members uh, on inside the library and then three came back and now the current uh, scenario is it's a zero so these actually statistics also have in help in uh, bigger libraries at the time of closing the library everyone need to visit the library each and every corner so that no students left behind so this will also help to tracking at last that how many is there any student still inside the library so this will help in that way also and now another thing i am coming uh, to know you about the statistics so statistics and other reports we can generate through the koha modules as we are generating about the books and other library transaction after implementation of this koha software so similarly i have integrated it in such a way from the back end that reports also you can make and generate from this koha software means there is no interference from this one this is just a interference in interface to check in and check out the member but for the other purposes you have you can manage with the koha software itself like generator of staff credential to log in here and uh, then uh, generation of reports also you can prepare reports so see i have prepared these reports i will check that this is detail of all visitors who have not yet checked out from the library so i will check here if any is uh, no see there is no any students left inside the library now again i will generate some other reports total visitor per day in between two date range i wanted to see total visitor in between two date ranges so date i wanted to see from 1st august to date how many have visited the library so now you see down on first 100 users visited then on second 33 down on 3 85 and 4 august 27 5 3, 6 August, 13 and this is kind of statistics and as you know Koha also provide that uh, chart you can create with the uh, statistic charts so pie charts I am going to create bar chart with this help of this one now you see this bar chart you can generate that per day how many users have visited so this may be uh, important in evaluation when the rush hours is there like uh, exam times or some other specific period uh, holidays it will be a less rush during exam times it will be a more so accordingly library authorities may take also some decision in case of any issues happening regarding space and all those things so now monthly statistics of visitor visitor you can see here monthly also so end number of reports you can actually uh, prepare with the help of this software Month. We just restarted. I have so only one month may come. So only one month since uh, I am uh, performing the task to check this software. So per month statistics also you can see here. Then detail of all visitor in between two date range. Now detail of suppose I want to to, to say okay, who are the members visited in case of any issues or anything happens that who were the members visited during those period we can track this so you see all the record checked in time then this is checked out time this is Vinod Kumar Mishra email id if they are available inside the system what is the id contact number male female 
then who are the staff as i discussed ki those staff who will perform the task from this module his action will be recorded here actually who are the responsible so if any of the person other than to whom you have assigned the responsibility logged in inside the system and perform the task then his entry and his records will be entered here that this particular staff is responsible to check in and check out to this vinod kumar mishra member and with the help of these reports what you can do sometime library used to give awards to the students like students who are visiting most frequently so through this you can very easily track those record and the highest visitor you can give the some awards uh, motivational awards so that others can be encouraged to actually attend the library more and more so this is another uh, a good reporting uh, is not an issue and it's a very excellent one and everything you can manage with the help of koha software only so this is a feature about uh, this uh, uh, software and this is log out option again this is i can again i will show you you can log in here to your id password and uh, this is the first interface where you can check out check in one was this is to no photo is there so photo is not pulled from the database everything is pulling from the database three so this is member now you see that report as i told you how many here you can see three main three six today we stayed three gone but three available inside the library so report i will generate suppose at the end of the day you wanted to see if any person is left you can see from here detail of all visitor who have not yet checked out from the library you see the three one two three is still available inside the library so my dear friends this is uh, about uh, this is a small software but very useful and it can be very easily installed with the available documents that i will demonstrate in the uh, our next uh, video and uh, this is available on uh, actually uh, git hub to download and use and uh, in case of any difficulty you can simply mail me also and uh, another thing is uh, good thing about this software is that as i told ki if your management or administration want you can actually they can uh, use it as a campus in out management also uh, visitors in out management and then hostels in out management also so in that way also it is very useful and uh, it can be it will be installed on the koha server itself so it doesn't required any separate server and it's a very lightweight developed using the python and uh, that uh, html and css so this is uh, actually all about this is small software and i will try to make sub uh, another software also that what are the requirements for installation what are the detailed procedure for installation of the this particular software so thanks for watching this video and keep me tracking for the next video available on this particular topic Thanks a lot.